Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about this new cat tower that I got for my rats, uh, or more accurately, I should say that I've been restoring for my rats, because I ended up getting this free from a neighbor, uh, and it had a lot of cat hair on it. It had quite a few things that had to be taken care of. It was pretty ragged. I'm going to have some videos or pictures showing you what it looked like when I first got it. It wasn't in terrible shape, but it also definitely wasn't in the best shape, and I could tell it definitely needed some renovation before I could give it to my rats. But considering that these cat towers are kind of expensive when you get them new and that I would then have to ship it in and I'd have to assemble it, I thought that it was a pretty good deal getting this for free and then renovating it for my rats myself. Uh, plus I kind of like doing DIY stuff so I thought it would be a lot of fun. I ended up using some sticky paper to get the fur off the carpet bits. Uh, this was something that took quite a while. I'm probably only going to show a short clip of me kind of brushing this over because I didn't actually film this process, but just know it took like 30 minutes to get most of the hair off. Once I did that, then I ended up wiping it down with some hot water. I wasn't really sure how to clean this because I haven't really cleaned something like this before. So I just ended up kind of gently washing it with some hot water and a little bit of soap. And then once I did that, I put it outside to dry some. And once it finished drying, then I took it back inside and and I ended up getting to work on the ropes. The ropes were basically pretty frayed. Uh, not all of them were frayed, but most of them were. It was pretty clear that this tower was well loved by the cat or cats who had it because they had completely scratched up the bottom three scratching posts, which hold up the entire thing, uh, alongside part of one of the top scratching posts. So I had some twine at home and I decided to go ahead and rewrap those. I basically just took off the old twine and frayed twine by using some scissors to kind of pry it up and then using my hands to just unwind it. Uh, again, I'm probably going to be showing a video of this, but it was basically just me unwinding the twine and taking off the damage bits. And once I unwound the twine, I found that it was actually attached with staples. So I went ahead and removed these as well. And I used my scissors to kind of help leverage these up when necessary. And once I finished taking off the damaged twine, I then took my new twine and rewrapped every single leg that needed it. Uh, I only had to do the three bottom legs and part of one of the top legs because the rest of the twine wasn't damaged, but the majority was, so I did end up rewrapping most of the legs, but it didn't take too long. I want to say maybe 30 or 45 minutes. Uh, and once I finished that, then I went ahead and glued the edge of the twine. I actually glued the bottom as well as a way to prevent the twine from coming off because I don't have a stapler to staple the twine in and I wasn't sure what else to use. Since this is only going to be available to the rats during free range time and they're also not really into scratching or biting twine, they're not cats in that regard, you know, they don't tend to scratch on things like that. Uh, but anyway, since they're not going to do that and since it's always going to be used under supervision, I figured it's fine to use hot glue to keep everything on the tower. Also, I just use hot glue with my rats all the time. Uh, once it's dry, it's completely safe for them. Anyways, once I finished wrapping the legs and gluing the bits that needed it, uh, then I went ahead and tried to patch up the fabric that was kind of ripped off. So I tried to cut off most of the ripped fabric at first, but some of it I wasn't able to cut off just because of where it was. So I took some of the bits that I did cut off and I just hot glued them onto spots that need Needed to be covered. So, you know, it's not the most seamless job out there, but I think it's okay. Again, the rats are only going to be using this under supervision and they're not really going to have access to these areas anyhow because they're kind of under the platforms and, you know, rats are a lot smaller than cats, so they can't really reach those areas easily. Um, but anyways, it's not going to be a problem if they come into contact with it, but I kind of just wanted to cover those areas just to help prevent any sort of damage. Anyways, once I finished gluing on the fabric, after that, the only thing left that I really had to do was cut off the little mouse toys that were dangling and tie on my own slotted cat balls uh, with the bells removed. And the reason I did this is because I don't really know how to clean the mouse toys so I just ended up getting rid of those. And the slotted cat balls I know are safe for the rats and I can stuff like hay in them or I can stuff food in them so they can forage with them. So they're more useful than the mouse toy which the rats would just ignore otherwise. So when I finished that I was pretty much done repairing the tower but the problem at this point is that rats can't really jump between the levels super easily. I mean they could jump between them but it would be kind of dangerous because of how small the rats are and, and how far apart the towers are uh, height wise. So I decided to go ahead and make some ladders to connect the different levels. So I made these out of popsicle sticks. I used large popsicle sticks and extra large popsicle sticks and I just glued together some ladders and I extra reinforced these by making sure to have two popsicle sticks glued on top of each other for each and every rung. And I ended up making three ladders in total to connect the different levels uh, and this was just kind of to help the rats get around. 
and I hot glued some Velcro onto the tower and onto the popsicle stick ladders uh, and I did this so that I could attach them and detach them pretty easily and this way I can ensure the ladders also won't fall off when I'm moving the thing around and also that they won't fall off if the rats are on them which is you know my biggest concern so all in all I think I did a pretty good job making it all pretty sturdy uh, and once I made those three ladders I ended up making a fourth one and this fourth ladder is a really long one that I made just to connect from the floor to the tower itself because while the cat tower itself does have a ramp that comes with it it's a pretty steep ramp and it has this covering of fabric over it that I feel like might be a little bit slippery for the rats to go up and down and I did find that they actually were a little bit wary of using this fabric ramp at first because it was so slippery uh, once I gave it to them so I am glad that I made the popsicle stick ladder to go from the floor to the tower itself as well because they ended up using that quite a bit in the beginning and now they seem to be using both pretty readily because I think they're just adjusting to having the tower around. Anyways, that was pretty much all I did to the tower. Once I finished all of these different ladders, I just put them up on the tower. I also added a wooden house to the top of the tower to encourage the rats to go up there. And yeah, they've really been enjoying it. Uh, at first, they were a little bit nervous about going up and down the tower. And actually for a few days, only four of my rats, which is half of my rats, would come out of their cage because they were nervous about the cat tower. But after a few days, the rest of my rats started getting curious and started to explore as well. And now everyone is comfortable going up and down the tower and walking around it. So I'm happy to say that it was indeed a success and I'm very glad that I ended up taking this tower and renovating it for my rats and I'm going to be using it probably for a few years, maybe even more. So I'm very happy to have it as part of my rats playpen setup. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I mainly wanted to show you guys the tower and the restoration of the tower. So I guess I'm kind of curious, does anyone else out there have a cat tower? And if so, you know, do your rats use it? Uh, would you consider it useful? And would you consider it a good thing to have in a free range setup? And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.